Unintentional. Ow. I hope it worked though. First up, your gaming news. The Southern California School of Engineering and the Cinematic Department have joined forces for the greater good. And that is to create a real life holodeck for gaming. Now this is just a prototype, but they made it with a Razer Hydra and the PlayStation Move. Currently they are pending a Kickstarter. We love Kickstarters here at the Box of Gaming, so we may see it one day. But no word just yet. It's only all ideas up in the air. Go ahead and watch this video. It's just a concept video, so this is not how it's going to work. When you see the video, you'll fully understand why. Next up, I want to talk about something that IGN found. This is really interesting. You know when you ever watch those trailers and you're like, hmm, this seems familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Well, what about the new Spider-Man trailer? I'm talking about shot for shot, old school Mirror's Edge. We're talking about everything from jumping building to building, from what angle the camera was at, all the way to... Don't do it! Oh, he did it! The jump at the face cam. Ah. Some quick news, Metal Gear Solid 5 may be running on a brand new engine called the Fox Engine made by Konami. So, August 30th, we may see more on that. Next up, we have some news about a new MMO. We just have a little sneak peek about it though. It's called War Z Zombie. Now, this isn't anything new even though that's what they're calling it because DayZ, if you guys know Armor 2, it's a modification for that game and it's basically what people are willing to put up with for a good zombie game. Now these game developers have realized that and they're willing to put the money in to harness that. Now the creator of DayZ has noted that he has lots of investments and directions he would like to go with it. But these guys are already realizing that people want something much different and much more hardcore in their gaming. Honestly, it's nothing new, but it is safe to say that we have a kid-friendly version of gaming where kind of everything's handed to you on what to do. So, DayZ has really opened the doors once again to hardcore gamers on what it's like to live on the edge and pretty much rough it. Speaking of hardcore, it looks like more production companies are thinking the exact same thing because Company of Heroes 2 just released new screenshots about exactly that, survival. They have a new weather system that they're going to implement and basically it's the Russians versus the Nazis so you have all that cold weather to deal with. This means your guys are going to start dying when they get cold. Freezing to death from the new weather element. So that is a nice level of survival. And it's been a while since I talked about Diablo, but it looks like you have a new bug. The wizard is invulnerable. There's a bug and they didn't explain, of course, why would you, on how to recreate it. But there was a hot fix and it's now apparently fixed but now it carried over to the Barbarian. So it's like a bad STD or something because now they have to hotfix that. Comparing a glitch to an STD right here on the box of gaming. What do you expect when you start having a real life auction house? People are now making an income from Diablo. They're gonna find every advantage that they can. So when there's one like this, you can guarantee that they're gonna take full advantage of it. But now it's indie time and what better one than from a company called Sick Sheep Production. This is called A Story From My Uncle. Dang it! A story about my uncle. The title is weird enough as it is. But basically, you just go swing around a whole bunch and it's kind of like a puzzle game. But go ahead and check it out. It's free. You can't argue with free. It's kind of weird though. His arm never moves when you play it. But hey, go check it out. Now as for your Kickstarter this week, we have a great return story of Star Command. This is part two of a Kickstarter. Basically, they made their first amount, but now they want to go to PC and Mac. Star Command, in my eyes, is more like XCOM Apocalypse RTS. Brilliant, best RTS game out there, in my opinion. But this is like Zach Brannigan from Futurama. You gotta watch this video. The voiceovers, perfect. So even without you, they're going to make this because they already almost have their total goal. But if you want to be a part of it, head over there over on their Kickstarter. And all I got out of this video was somebody gets sucked out of the spaceship. You already won me over. You already have my money. You're good. All right, guys, that is it for me. I am Bebop Box, and that was the Box of Gaming. I will see you tomorrow for more of your gaming news and some of the stuff that I personally find awesome. Be sure to subscribe and comment below if you want to win some Dota 2 stuff this week. 
And I will see you guys in game. See you tomorrow.